Hello everyone, back with me again there is Wang and today let's talk about build plate level and bottom exposure. So you have sent your build plate, you have leveling your build plate and then you print your object only to find it that several hours later that the bottom is not sticking to the build plate or even worse that the whole print failed. You wasted time and resin for a failed print because your build plate is still not properly level but I will share to you the trick that I usually use to check the build plate level and then after that we will talk about calibrate the bottom exposure so you could easily remove your object from the build plate and that is also could help prolong your screen lifespan with low bottom exposure so let's get started now, to check your build plate after leveling, you could print a flat square like this. This is a 20 millimeters time 20 millimeters. The thickness is 0 0.3 millimeters. And it took about 3 minutes to 7 minutes to print. According, uh, depends on your printer settings. And on small build plate, you could place it one in the center and the rest on each corner. But if you are using a bigger build plate, I suggest that you put more of the square and spread evenly on the build plate. Give it, give it some gap. And now let's have a close up look here. If you, if you have something like this here, do not worry. This is just a bubble that trapped in the resin and got cured during the exposure. But you, if experience something like this, or here for another example, this is just a delamination because of the normal layer exposure is underexposed. And I will talk about resin exposure calibration in the next video. Now let's calibrate our bottom exposure. Now, and calibrating the bottom exposure, we want to use the lowest possible exposure to keep a longer lifespan for the LCD screen and also easy removal of your printed object from your build plate. And I designed this model. It is act almost like a suction cup to simulate the pulling during your printing and also to check how well the bottom stick to the build plate and this is my first calibration print and it is on 40 second bottom exposure now i will try to remove it from the build plate it is oh it's quite it's quite hard to remove Now I'm going to test it again at 30 second bottom exposure. And this is at 30 second bottom exposure. Now I'm going to try to remove it from the build plate. Still quite hard but not as hard at, at 40 second. Next, I'm going to test it at 20 seconds. And this is a 20 seconds bottom exposure. A little bit easier to remove compared to the 30 seconds, of course. But everything still sticks very well. Okay, next is at 10 seconds bottom exposure. 
Now this is at 10 seconds and yes I know surprisingly everything still sticks very well and 10 seconds is my usual bottom exposure but as a reminder do not use the same exposure as mine because uh, different climate temperature and moisture could affect your resin performance and also your exposure now let's try to remove this 10 second bottom exposure very easy to remove And now, let's for the fun part, I'm going to do another test at 5 seconds bottom exposure. We'll see how it goes. The print just start at 5 second bottom exposure. We'll see the result soon. Print for 5 seconds bottom exposure is just finished. And we have a failed print here. Okay, I will wash it first and then we will have a close-up look. And this is at 5 seconds bottom exposure. Definitely a fail because we are missing the center piece. Lower right corner is lifting. And same also happening at the lower left corner. So this is the method for calibrate your bottom exposure. If I may give some suggestion before I end today's video is one, do not use support bottom or base thicker than one millimeters because if it's more than one millimeters that will only put a lot of stress to your FPP and your LCD screen. And this example here is at 0.6 millimeters. And when I print a large object like this support for the diorama that I print several months ago, this is only a one millimeter thick. And the second suggestion is do not use this blunt scraper that comes with your printer. They are just very bad for removing object from your build plate. You could use a razor blade or plastic razor blade or what I've done with my scraper is I sharpen the edge so it could better slip under the object to pry it from the build plate. And you want to come at a very low angle when removing your object, not at high angle. Okay, so that's it for today's videos guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification, like this video and Share if you want. Thank you.